the farm farm dozen eggs were again donated by Maloon Creek Natural Farm as well, completely cage free and fresh. So thank you, Maloon Creek, for your continued support in this venture too. The bakery sausages are from Eco Meats from Dog Modern Markets, and all the products are supplied by Oddway, which is accredited by RSPCA. All proceeds from the barbecue go directly to RSPCA ACT. So a big thank you to the Lions Club who do so much for the local community and are donating their time here today as well. Remember, for any lost property, lost children or lost pets, please come down to the tent uh, over there where the picket fence is just in front of me. And also today at the food court, we have Dutch pancakes, ice cream, waffles, coffee. It's safe to say you can get pretty much anything you want for lunch right here, as well as dessert afterwards by the sounds of it. Now, everything from the Just a few reminders, uh, you probably see behind me as I'm looking into this camera here, and it's funny being a radio guy and doing this for the first time around. Um, but you can hear where the dogs are barking. We're going to have heat one of Pup Idol in the first few minutes as well. Uh, in front of the stage here, the 106 Cruise. The best performance from each round will go through to the finale at 1.45 p.m. At 2, we have the live kettle auction in Action Hero Alley by Richard Luton Properties. All kettles were built and painted by CIT students. And CIT is a fantastic partner of RSPCA and helps out every year with the kettles and assistance with our VIP functions as well. There is even a solid option for the main event that you can get involved in, so please do. How cute would your pet look sleeping one of these prototype branded kennels right to the side of me over here? Look pretty good to me now. Danielle from Windows, whereabouts are you? I am here. I am in the middle of the ground at the Superhero Training Academy. I had a bit of a walk through and there are some dogs that are so pooped, they're having a bit of a relax in the sun. But for those that still have some energy to burn, we are down here at the Training Academy. Tell me, what can dogs do here, Francis? Oh, all sorts of fun things. They can uh, learn how to jump over buildings oh, and they can learn how to fly, go into hyperdrive. It's all fun down here. And they get a little superhero cape while they're doing it. Absolutely. We like to turn them into superheroes straight away. And this is for any dog. Any dog can come down here and have a go. Absolutely, every dog. It doesn't matter what size, it doesn't matter how they're feeling, we can give them a go. And they usually do it very, very well. What are the tricks? What are the tricks and tips? Um, lots of um, rewarding. So we provide you with some treats so you can reward your dogs for going through the obstacles so they have fun as well as you. Now we have Daisy who has never done a course like this before but her owner tells us that she is made for this sort of thing. So let's see how Daisy goes. Come on Daisy. <laughs> So we're going to start the course at the telephone booth and we're making our way through to this little jump. Let's see if Daisy can make this little jump. Lily's arm with some tr Oh, there we go. She's done it. Daisy's off to a flying start in her superhero cape. Here she goes again. Ready? Daisy, jump. Fantastic. Now she's going up the climb walls, which I think is great exercise if we get the heart pumping, but it might be a little challenge for such a little dog. Here we go. Up, up and over, no problems. Daisy is made for this. Now we've got Dodge Bullets up next, so I believe she'll be weaving her way in and out of these obstacles. Oh, a bit hesitant here. Yeah. A bit confused, in and out, in and out. Wow, fantastic work. <laughs> now I think she's going camping. What's this one? It's the secret lair. So she's been around the lake and now she's going inside the secret lair. Yeah, it was all right, wasn't it? <laughs> inside and she's going to pop out the other side. So her owner Lily has got a few treats for her. Good work, Daisy. And we've got this seesaw looking board. Let's see how she goes with this one. Not quite to the end, but she's done well. She's going to go through the tunnel now, all the way up through the other end. I'm sure she's going to race through. She's a pretty speedy dog. Oh, 
Come on, Daisy. Make your way through. Good girl. Fantastic. Now, I think she's got the uh, burning ring of fire right next. There's no fire here today, so it's all make believe, but let's see how she goes. Easy. No problem with Daisy. Up the next obstacle. Here we go. So everyone, if you want to uh, participate in this, make sure you bring your dog down here because it's a gold coin donation, obviously everything going to the RSPCA. And some of the trainers here will be able to give you some advice and some tips on getting your dog through the obstacles. Wonderful, good work. That was great work. I'm actually surprised Daisy's done so well. What about you, Frances? Are you surprised she's done so well? She's a champion. She was wonderful. I think she did it more for the fun than for the treats as well. Oh, that's great. Sensational work. We'll join you next from the hill stand after this short break. Thank you very much, Danielle. That was magnificent. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That was absolutely wonderful. I want one of those dogs now. I really do. Uh, speaking of wanting one of those dogs, actually, there's going to be many up here that you're going to be envying as we're about to kick off with some outstanding talent here at this today. And to get things going with the Pup Idol first heat, it's my pleasure to welcome Jess McNamara from the RSPCA, the young lady in the Batman costume. Give her a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check out the first heat of Pup Idol. Thanks, Pete. As Pete said, we're going to get going with the first hit of Pub Idol. Pub Idol is our annual trick competition. Uh, this year, we've got a huge variety of dogs signed up for the first heat. But if you haven't signed up, and you're just hearing about it for the first time, come on down to the stand and you can always sign up for the second heat. So the second heat will be at one o'clock. First up, we have Daisy. So Daisy, our beagle. Straight out of the bat. Uh, Daisy, our three-year-old beagle, and today Daisy is going to shake, drop, roll over, beg, and high five. So Daisy's got to beg a few different things she's going to do for us. Go ahead, Daisy. Oh, beautiful beg. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Everyone give Daisy my applause. Excellent work, Daisy. Shake. Lovely shake. Oh, and a good high five from shaking to high five. Hard sequence. Oh. We're struggling a little with roll over. That's fine, but she's deciding to dance. It's still beautiful. I think Daisy's going on strike. Oh, here we go. Beautiful work, Daisy. <laughs> Excellent, I think we're good. Yes, oh, give it up for Daisy. We got there in the end. That was beautiful. Excellent, take on Daisy off. And next up we have Pippa. So Pippa wants to come over, Pippi. And Pippi is a fighter of mini fox terrier cross. And Pippi is going to jump through a hoop as well as do a variety of other animal tricks. So Pippi's a bit like a superhero jumping through the hoop. Are you ready, Pippi? Pippi! Oh, Dilly. Yo, oh, look at that! Oh, look at Pippi go! Oh, beautiful. Pippi, what a star. Hello. How are you going? All those things and all the way up here. Oh, awesome. She can shake. You have miniaturized. Oh, a shake from a big. Very nice. Lovely. And can we just see Peppy one more time through a hoop? Because that was really good. Oh. Beautiful work, Peppy. Oh, that was lovely. Excellent. You want to take Peppy to the side then? Next, we have Lola, our 12 month old Staffy. And Lola's got a few tricks as well. Lola's going to sit, drop, shake, high five, and we're going to shoot Lola. So. Lovely shake, beautiful. 
pretty awesome, guys. That's a fair bit of effort in getting rats to eat, okay? Beautiful work. All right, next we 